carbon neutrality. It is going to be a challenge in terms of technology. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Korea should really play an important role as a main leader in this uh, world market to provide the technologies for the future. Our actions right now will actually determine the life of future generations. Hello, I'm Maxwell Timmermann. I'm the director of the IBS Center for Climate Physics at Busan National University. We have warmed the planet a lot. Uh, sea ice in the Arctic is retreating. Uh, snow cover has decreased. Uh, global sea level rise has, has increased. So we are definitely uh, changing our climate system. Nowadays it is apparent, it is undeniable and it's something that we can all experience in fact. If we continue to blast more CO2 into the atmosphere, our planet will of course warm more. Sea levels will start to uh, rise even faster, uh, which affects coastlines and threatens essentially low-lying islands. So we used the ICCP IBS supercomputer RLF in one of the most highly resolving climate model simulations uh, ever conducted. And after nine months of, of computing time, we finally generated large amounts of data, about 5,000 hard disks of data. One of the first questions that we wanted to address uh, with this enormous big data amount was what will happen to tropical cyclones in response to global warming. And what we found is that future climate change will reduce the total number of tropical cyclones, but the number of extremely strong events and the associated rainfall will increase considerably. We need definitely a concerted effort to become carbon neutral. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. And there are four major steps that need to be undertaken. The most important one is that Korea, South Korea, has to uh, become a global player essentially in reducing carbon emissions, saving energy, needs to develop new technologies such as uh, super hydrogen batteries, smart technologies, smart cities for example, needs to implement on a large scale photovoltaics, wind energy, biofuels in combination with good battery technology. And the last one is important, we need an economy friendly combined carbon tax dividend system. And then everybody of course can contribute to these efforts. In particular, individual citizens can reduce the CO2 emissions by saving energy, by buying low carbon products, buying products that are energy efficient for example. Science is very important. Of course, we know our planet is warming up, mostly actually due to our activities. But the regional details are still difficult to ascertain. For those, actually, we need to have also dedicated scientific efforts to do high-resolution climate modeling for, with a focus on, on Korea, Korean coastlines, and so on. So I'm suggesting that maybe Korea could also invest in a high-performance computing center dedicated essentially to climate projections. That would be an activity that would be meaningful in terms of identifying what climate change will look like specifically in Korea. This information could also be used to identify where would be good locations, for example, to implement, install PV or wind farms. Then the technology side is, of course, crucial. We need to get into developing smart cities, biofuels. Korea could become a leader in developing battery technologies and so on. It is going to be a challenge in terms of technology, but I think Korea has never shied away from good challenges, uh, technological challenges. Um, I think Korea should really play an important role as a main leader in this world market to provide the technologies for the future. And that includes batteries. I think that Korea definitely has a great potential, but also photovoltaics and smart technologies. And Korea is very much interested in these uh, smart technologies, implementing AI in essentially uh, grid systems and so on. Our actions right now will actually determine the life of future generations. So carbon neutrality is a necessity to improve.
improve the conditions of our children and grandchildren's generations. And I also see this as an important responsibility, not only a global responsibility, but also a generational responsibility. And the good news is carbon neutrality is possible, it's feasible. We have to act now.